Hey guys, welcome back. I'm about to have some dinner. <sighs> the kids wanted SpaghettiOs. Um, okay. Seven SpaghettiOs. Adri is having yogurt with hers. The other two are having grilled cheese with theirs. So I'm having vegetable soup. My favorite vegetable soup ever is this. Whoa. The Campbell's Chunky Hearty Beef Barley. So good. Yeah, honey. Okay, you can go ahead and eat it. Oh, I told her not to eat her spaghettios right away because it might be hot. So she's been waiting this whole time, I think. She said, Mom, I think my spaghetti's not hot anymore. Aw. How was your grilled cheese? So anyways, I have the beef. How was your grilled cheese? How's your pickles? Good. <clears throat> okay, we have to eat your spaghettios right now. Mommy's gonna eat real quick, okay? So I have, sorry, hearty beef barley soup. Grilled cheese, two pickles, and some chili cheese Fritos. Alex and Jack should be on a pickle kick. So my grilled cheese has a slice of just the American cheese singles, the Kraft singles, and as a sprinkling of the um, shredded Mexican cheese blend. This is how I eat mine though. Have to dip it. Have to dip it in my vegetable soup. Mmm. So, when we were in high school, me and my friend Miranda would always go to my other friend Miranda's house and we'd always drink the pickle juice. And her mom always gets so mad because she'd go to have a pickle with her grilled cheese and they'd be like all shriveled and gross because they weren't in any pickle juice. I love the kosher dill. I love Clausen. I don't really care for bread and butter. Bread and butter. I'm not the biggest fan of sweet pickles either. I like the spicy pickles. I don't eat the meat out of here. It's like weird. Yummy. It's a windy day. Windy, rainy day today. My fridge just kicked on. So. Um. Mm. So next week, Allie has to go get she has two cavities, like one up here, the top back tooth, and one down here on the bottom. The one can definitely be filled, but the other two, she said, the dentist said she's not sure if there's enough tooth to fill. It almost looks like she broke her tooth. I don't know. So if they can't fill it, they're going to pull it. So for her age, they put them to sleep and do them, like, over at the hospital. So last week, she went in and did her physical... I don't eat the meat. From our doctor saying she was okay to be put to sleep. And then today we had to go get her little COVID test. So we went to the hospital outpatient center. And they um, swabbed her throat. And then later on, after that, the hospital called to get her, me, or to, for, for me to get her registered for her procedure. They call it a surgery, even though like it might just be tooth teeth being filled. I think it's because they put them out. I don't know. I don't know why it's called a surgery. Like colonoscopies, they're considered surgeries too, and you don't have. I mean, it's not a surgery. You don't get cut on or anything. So took care of that today. 
So the kids, the little ones didn't get naps. So we're all kind of tired. See the meat's just, I don't know. So it's gonna be early bedtime, well normal bedtime, because it's already 7.04. They're finishing up dinner, I'm just having mine. I feel like this week has been like flown by, but it's just been an exhausting week. So next week she does that, and then we have to be there at 6.30 in the morning, her procedure's at 7.30. She's not allowed to eat or drink after midnight the night before, which is fine, but the morning of, she's not allowed to have a sip of water. And usually, like, as soon as she wakes up, she wants juice. They told me to bring her in her jammies. She can bring her blankie, and it can go back there with her. And then, the following week, Jackson goes back to the pediatric ophthalmologist, I think they're going to take measurements of his um, eyelid and get him scheduled to have his surgery. So they can fix his eyelid. Like his one eye, it looks like it droops, but it's not his eye. His eye's perfectly fine. It's just the lid. The muscle's not strong to hold the lid up. And when he gets tired, it's really weak. So it really droops. But like I said, it's just, we've been going since he was, what, nine months old? <laughs> He's almost two. It's not his eye. That eye actually has better vision than the non droopy lid eye. So they're gonna go in, they put him to sleep, and they go in and they put a few stitches on the lid. And they've been talking about doing it forever. But they said you have better results when they're like the older you can do it. If you do it when they're too small, their eyes are still going to grow and they might go in and redo it again. But they put it off until like the lid droops so low it like blocks part of their vision. And they think it's at that point. He saw two different doctors when we were there last time. So they said to, sh to schedule it for on a Wednesday so that both doctors could see him again. Well, I'm pretty sure they said they would take measurements in the eye. So this last time we went, the second doctor was like the older doctor and she said, no, don't, don't patch him anymore at all because that's just going to make, um, if we patch the good eye or the one that didn't droop, so let the one that did droop try and like strengthen itself. But she said, no, if you keep doing that, then that good eye the, is going to like strain itself and it's going to become weak. Vision wise, not lid wise. So she said, no, do not prescribe glasses, do not patch it anymore, and just leave them both alone so you're not messing with his vision, and then come back at this appointment and measure for her. What you do? Like I said before, to me, he's perfect. I've been a mom for almost nine, or for over nine years, and I've never had any kid put to sleep and I'm about to have both of my little ones put to sleep. Like I'm. Mom. Hi, buddy. Oh. You can go play. Yes. I know it's for pretty basic um procedures, but it's the anesthesia part that freaks me yeah. out. Like everyone reacts differently to anesthesia, and they're just little. <laughs> What can you do? It's hard being a mom. You gotta make them get vaccines. We have to help doctors pin them down and hold them down to start IVs and to swab them if they're sticking at the hospital. And <laughs> I 
the lady today said that when when she goes back to have her teeth done, she'll be back there for an hour. So, but make sure you don't leave the hospital. I said, you couldn't even make me leave. So will you be surprised how many parents leave and then the child gets done and their parents not even there to come get them. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm not that mom. I'm the mom that wants to be there for every little thing. I couldn't imagine leaving. And have your kid come out of anesthesia and have their parent not be there. Like, that's insane. It's weird, though, because not this past Thanksgiving, but the one before. Allie got out of the hospital that day because she was hospitalized because she had a really bad virus. Sapo virus, I think it was. Um, I stayed up there with her the whole time. My family took care of the kids because Jay and I weren't really getting along then. Mom. I think he came to the hospital and we actually Mom. had an argument and I ended up in tears and made him leave. Mom. I did, huh? Yeah. I want a cookie? Mmm, yum, yum, yum. My mom's like, you know, when I was little, she's saying that when I was little and had been in the hospital, like, parents weren't allowed to stay. So it's like your child was there in their crib or in their bed, hooked up to IVs and stuff by themselves. So they're in the room by themselves. And the nurses would check. I'm like, I couldn't imagine any of my kids being up at the hospital at four years old, three years old, two years old, whatever. <coughs> or even Adrian, at nine years old, and being up there by themselves. And, like, their only person that came in their room was the nurse to check on them every so often. It's crazy. But also when I was a baby, I didn't have to be in a car seat. I could just be laying on the seat in my mom's car when you had to be in a seat belt. Girl jumping around the cars being crazy. Hey Adri. Oh never mind. Yummy. I mentioned a couple videos ago that Jay was around like every day because he was laid off for two weeks and then he went to second shift. He's still on second shift. So we weren't gonna see him, so he was here like nonstop. I and mean, when he's around, like we eat horribly. We had Texas Roadhouse and then like fast food every single night for a week. Now Monday night I made fish, Tuesday night I made tacos. Last night the kids wanted frozen pizza. Tonight they wanted spaghetti. So I've cooked like every night. And today Since Jay's on second, I had him um, come with me to pick Alex up so we could stop at the hospital and him and Jax could wait in the car while I ran in with Alex. I didn't want to take all the kids in or find a babysitter. As soon as we leave the hospital, he wanted Arby's. He's like, are you kidding me? So lunch today was Arby's. It's terrible. Hey, Adri. Adri. What? Are you guys in Allie's room with Jax or are you in the living room? Oh. I was wondering, I thought you guys were playing in Allie's room.
so good. Jackson stacking up wood blocks in the hallway. <clears throat> Are you stacking your blocks? <laughs> he loves to stack things and like balance things. He tries to balance things on the baby gate. Today he was trying to balance this dancing Mickey Mouse on this little tiny car garage. <laughs> It was not going well for him. He gets so mad like things don't work out in his favor. He gets really mad. <clears throat> Cough and clear your throat and it doesn't go away. <clears throat> and then you end up irritating your um irritating your throat and giving yourself a sore throat. <laughs> <coughs> Don't come for me. soup ever I love barley I literally have like eight cans of the soup in my cupboard there we go early what happened Adri smacked you on the finger. Adri don't, Adri don't smack her. What happened was I was hitting the bench with these and I hit her hand. I did. I'm gonna hit you with this. <laughs> 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 Adri, Adriana. Adriana. First of all, don't ever threaten to hit your mom. Second of all, even if it was an accident, you still tell her you're sorry. sorry. You <clears throat> That's good. She's such a bullshitter. That's why I'm laughing like you did not accidentally do it. You did it on purpose. Nice try. Call bullshit. What do you have? You have a block? Oh, what is that? Are you having a flower garden? Are you building a flower garden? Uh -huh. Yeah, I just threw the meat in there. <clears throat> Weird about it. There we go. Easy cleanup. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall out of my chair. Ugh. All right, I have my pan from my grilled cheese sandwiches. My little. I recently got these on Amazon. They're the Rachel Ray spatulas. This is the small one, and there's a big one. I love them because mine, most of mine are like rubber. Excuse me, they don't like slide very easy under there. This is like the hard plastic. It just slides right under there. I love it. 
Excuse me. Great part, guys. All right, guys. That was Thursday night dinner. Good old stupid sandwich. Grilled cheese and bitty soup. They're really good dipped in sour cream. Mom, My honey. I didn't cut any. I cut AG What? I cut AG Spicer. I cut my finger. On what? I don't know, but there's like a huge slit and... You don't know what you cut it on? Did you cut it on paper? Did you just do it? Well, don't sit there and squeeze it. Hold that on there and go rinse it underwater. You don't know what you're cutting on? No. Adrian, is it a paper cut? No. What were you just playing with? Well, we need to figure it out because if it cut you, it could cut them. Yeah. They're in there playing with toys. <clears throat> or did you cut it earlier? Yeah. Alright, guys. I gotta go play doctor. And then pick up some messes, wash a couple dishes, and call it a night. I'm behind on Mel BZ's videos. I need to catch up on those. And a few other people that I've been wanting to watch. Actually, there's a whole bunch of videos I want to want to watch. And like unless I had a week vacation with no kids where I could just lay around and watch nothing but YouTube videos all day every day, I would never I would never get them watched. So I need to pick and choose what I want to watch. I'm tired. Can you tell? I didn't sleep very well last night. Don't squeeze it, Adri. Oh, take your toothbrush in the bathroom. Oh, you're brushing your teeth, buddy? Okay, take it in the bathroom. Alright, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. And yeah, do you dip your grilled cheese in uh, vegetable soup? I don't do tomato soup. I do vegetable. I don't like tomato soup. Alright, I'll see you next one. My battery's about to die. Bye, guys.